Step into the sepia-tinted realm of nostalgia, where the flickering screen of a bygone era held the promise of adventure and the allure of the Wild West. Close your eyes and journey back to that moment, the moment you first crossed paths with the 1955 TV series, Cheyenne. Can you recall the crackling anticipation as the opening credits danced across the screen, introducing you to a world untamed? Perhaps it was the rugged charm of Clint Walker's portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie that etched itself into your memory, a cowboy silhouette against the vast expanse of possibility. Ah, yes, those were the days when the West was one one black and white episode at a time. As you reminisce, let your mind saunter through the dusty streets of frontier towns, riding alongside Cheyenne as he stood tall against injustice, his lonesome figure a beacon of resilience in a rugged terrain. The clattering of hooves, the howling wind, and the distant notes of a harmonica, they all played in symphony, weaving a tale that was as much about the human spirit as it was about the open prairies. But let's not wander too far into the sunset just yet. As the embers of your recollections continue to glow, allow me to whisk you back to the present. As the curtains rise on this narrative, we find ourselves in the realm of intriguing trivia and forgotten tidbits about the show. Delve into the stories behind the scenes, the quirks of production, and the echoes of the era that resonate through every frame. For did you know that Cheyenne held the torch as one of the pioneering hour-long western series of its time, setting a trail ablaze for the shows that followed? So, saddle up, dear reader, and ride alongside me as we unearth these hidden gems from the annals of television history. The allure of the past beckons, and the stories that await are as timeless as the West itself. And as we embark on this expedition of knowledge and wonder, always remember, it all started with that very first encounter, when you met Cheyenne and his adventures head on. Cheyenne, a pioneering TV series that debuted in 1955, holds the distinction of being one of the first hour-long westerns on television. Created by Warner Bros., the show aired for a remarkable seven seasons, becoming a trailblazer in the genre. The series centered around the rugged character Cheyenne Bodie, portrayed by Clint Walker, and followed his adventures across the American West during the post-Civil War era. Cheyenne's strong moral compass, sense of justice, and impressive physicality made him an iconic figure in television history. The show's origins lie in Warner Bros. Desire to capitalize on the popularity of Western films while exploring the untapped potential of the television medium. Cheyenne emerged as a response to this, with its unique hour-long format that allowed for more complex storytelling compared to other contemporary TV shows. Walker's charismatic portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie added depth to the character, making him an emblematic figure in the Western genre. The impact of Cheyenne on popular culture was profound. The show's success paved the way for numerous other Western TV series and cemented the genre's place in the television landscape. Moreover, the series introduced the concept of a lone, heroic figure navigating through challenges and upholding justice, a motif that would become a staple in many subsequent shows. The character Cheyenne Bodie left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers, setting the tone for the evolution of Western television. Random facts, Clint Walker's towering presence at six feet six inches contributed to the character's imposing and memorable image. The show's theme song, composed by William Lava, became an enduring musical hallmark of the Western genre. Notable guest stars, including James Garner and Dennis Hopper, made appearances on the show, contributing to its cultural significance. Cheyenne breaks new ground as U.S., television's first hour-long Western in the annals of television history. 1955 marked a transformative year with the emergence of Cheyenne a trailblazing Western series that left an indelible mark on the medium. Notably, Cheyenne achieved a historic feat by becoming the first hour-long Western to grace U.S. television screens. The show's inception was ambitious, with plans for the recurring character Smitty to feature in every episode of its maiden season. However, the network's enthusiasm was met with a swift reality check. After just three episodes, Smitty was unceremoniously dropped from the series due to a wave of critique from critics and sponsors, including industry giant Monsanto. Their concern centered on the show veering too close to child-oriented content. A scathing review in Variety lamented the show as almost strictly kiddie o fair. Responding decisively, producer Roy Huggins, brought in during season one, orchestrated a pivotal transformation. 
Huggins' first strategic move was to sever ties with the character Smitty, reshaping Cheyenne into a landscape where a laconic lone drifter took center stage. This alteration not only mollified detractors, but also set the tone for the show's subsequent evolution. The resulting Cheyenne Bodie, portrayed by Clint Walker, etched his enigmatic presence into the Western genre's Hall of Fame. Years later, after the series had concluded, an incident during the filming of the episode The Dirty Warriors highlighted the challenges faced by the show's lead actor. In 1971, Clint Walker, the embodiment of Cheyenne Bodie, suffered a harrowing skiing accident that plunged him into a coma for days. Against the odds, Walker demonstrated his own resolute determination, emerging from the coma and embarking on a remarkable journey of recovery. As the curtain fell on Cheyenne, its legacy endured, not merely as a trailblazer for Western television, but as a testament to the resilience of its leading man. The show's ability to navigate the terrain of network pressure, audience expectations, and unforeseen accidents only adds to its storied history. Cheyenne stands as a cornerstone of television history, a testament to the power of perseverance, innovation, and the enduring allure of the Old West. Cheyenne galloped through TV history with Western Charisma Cheyenne. The iconic 1955 TV series left an indelible mark on the landscape of Western television. Known for its rugged charm and captivating narratives, the show held a pivotal role in shaping the genre. Running for an impressive seven seasons, it rode high in the ratings, firmly establishing itself as a long-running hit of its time. One fascinating cost-saving strategy adopted by the show's creators was to rework episodes from Warner Brothers' own Western films during its inaugural year. By repurposing existing footage, the studio aimed to trim expenses while maintaining the high production values that define both the films and the TV series. This innovative approach not only showcased clever resourcefulness, but also enabled the show to deliver on its promise of thrilling frontier stories. Further cementing its legacy, Cheyenne underwent a unique transformation in its format. For several seasons, the series evolved into The Cheyenne Show, featuring a distinctive weekly rotation alongside fellow Western series, Sugarfoot and Bronco. This innovative arrangement not only captivated audiences by offering a diverse range of frontier sagas, but also solidified the show's place in television history. From its inception, Cheyenne galloped onto screens with a distinctive blend of adventure, heart, and grit. Whether remaking classic films or pioneering a novel scheduling format, the show's impact was undeniable. As dust settled and credits rolled, Cheyenne remained a beacon of Western television excellence, forever etching its name into the annals of television history. Cheyenne Jackson, a modern homage to a classic Western hero in the annals of television history, the name Cheyenne resonates as more than just a TV series. It's a nod to the iconic character that graced American screens in 1955. Born from the creative minds of Roy Huggins and William Tunberg, Cheyenne rode into the homes of millions, carving a path that would influence generations to come. Interestingly, actor Cheyenne Jackson, a name that exudes Hollywood charm, draws inspiration from this very show. A tribute to the titular character portrayed by Clint Walker, Jackson's parents found resonance in the spirit of the strong, independent cowboy. The show's influence transcended its runtime, leaving an indelible mark on one young actor's identity. At the heart of Cheyenne lies a captivating backstory, the character's origin. Cheyenne Body's namesake is intertwined with the Cheyenne Indians, a narrative twist that infuses the series with depth. According to the show's lore, Cheyenne's parents met a tragic fate at the hands of Cheyenne Indians. However, the same hands that took away his family also embraced him, raising him as one of their own. This compelling premise added layers of cultural intrigue to the show, elevating it beyond the standard Western fare. The success of Cheyenne ignited a trailblazing franchise, the Cheyenne Bodie character universe. Spin-offs like Bronco and Sugarfoot expanded the world of rugged heroes, capturing the hearts of television audiences. This interconnected narrative approach was ahead of its time, setting the stage for future TV crossovers and expanded universes that dominate contemporary screens. As we reflect on the enduring legacy of Cheyenne, we see how one TV series could inspire names, embody intricate storytelling, and spawn a franchise that echoed through the decades. The spirit of Cheyenne Bodie lives on, a testament to the power of television to shape lives and culture. 
Clint Walker, the towering icon of TV's Cheyenne Clint Walker, a commanding presence in the realm of Western television, etched his place in history through his portrayal of Cheyenne Bodie in the 1955 TV series Cheyenne. Standing tall with a rugged, masculine allure, Walker became the quintessential figure of the Western genre. His towering height wasn't just a physical trait, it was a statement of his indomitable spirit as he tackled the challenges of the American frontier. The show, with its tales of adventure and justice, often found Walker's character in temporary law enforcement roles. This resonated eerily with Walker's real-life history. Prior to gracing the silver screen, Walker himself donned the badge as a deputy sheriff, lending an authenticity to his roles that resonated with viewers. One intriguing tidbit that fueled the show's allure was Walker's occasional shirtless scenes. His hairy, muscular chest became a hallmark, adding a layer of rawness to his character. However, a curious shift occurred in the show's final season. Season 7 saw a departure from this tradition. In an unexpected turn, Walker's shirt stayed on throughout all 13 episodes. This departure remains an enigmatic point in the series' legacy, leaving fans to ponder the creative choices that drove this change. Cheyenne might have ridden off into the sunset, but Clint Walker's indelible mark endures. His on-screen law enforcement roles mirrored his real-life experiences, and his towering presence, both figuratively and literally, became emblematic of the Western TV landscape. As the credits rolled on Cheyenne, Walker's journey continued a testament to his towering impact on the genre and television itself. As we bid adieu to our journey through the charismatic landscapes of the 1955 TV series, Cheyenne, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of nostalgia and modernity. Just as the titular character rode the rugged trails of the Old West, the show itself carved a trailblazing path in the realm of television. It's a testament to the power of storytelling that transcends time and bridges generations. As the final curtain falls on this captivating chapter, take a moment to reflect on the echoes of Cheyenne's adventures in your own life. Perhaps you've been inspired by his unwavering courage, his indomitable spirit, or the way he championed justice in a world of complexity. The show wasn't just a chronicle of the past. It was a mirror reflecting the values and aspirations that continue to shape us today. Your personal connection with Cheyenne is a treasure trove of memories waiting to be unearthed. Whether it's the iconic moments that gave you chills, the characters whose struggles and triumphs resonated with your own, or the sense of camaraderie that bound you to fellow viewers, these recollections are what keep the flame of this classic series burning brightly. As we close this chapter, I encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about Cheyenne. Reach out to friends, family, and fellow fans who have traversed these narrative planes alongside you. Let your words become bridges that connect hearts and minds, just as Cheyenne connected with his ever-expanding frontier. Thank you for taking the time to delve into the world of Cheyenne, for reliving its tales of courage, and for carrying its legacy forward. Your appreciation adds depth to the rich tapestry of television history. Until we meet again to explore new horizons, keep those memories alive and those conversations flowing. Warm regards.